my name's Cara Kingsward Hughes and today we are joined once again by one of the voices now finalists in Will I Am's final three, Leanne Jarvis. How do you feel? Oh my goodness. Uh, amazing. I'm in the live shows of The Voice. I've, I just can't believe it. I'm so happy. It's amazing. It's, it's really amazing. amazing. So last night we watched the knockout round. Yes. I have to say first of all that you were incredible. Oh, thank and you. How surprised were you to get through? Like so surprised. It was, um, yeah, my reaction as you can tell, I was very, very surprised. Um, I thought Moni would go through. Um, Will changed his mind and I, I just couldn't believe it. I was so overwhelmed. Oh, I, it was always yeah. such a blur, you know, it was, it was brilliant. How are you going to celebrate? Um, I think I'm going to get really drunk uh, <laughs> with my friends and celebrate like that. <laughs> and what's been happening since we last spoke to you? You've had a whirlwind of a time. Yeah, well, I mean, um, obviously we had the knockouts. Um, I did a few gigs. Essex Fashion Week I, I also done as well. I performed there. Um, yeah, so it's all just been going crazy since, since the start, you know, since the start of the show. It's just my life is just mental at the moment, but I'm, I'm enjoying every minute. Yeah, your life has completely changed from an yeah. office job to... I know. I mean, I was stop. still, I'm, I'm still like, I was still working in the office while, while The Voice was on, but obviously now it's the live shows, I move up to London, so yeah, really, really exciting. But I mean, life still goes on, so you see someone get through, but I was still working and, and doing rehearsals at the same time, and so yeah, because obviously it's recorded, um, it's hard for people to understand that, but... But yeah, so right now I'm, I'm obviously going to be moving up to London and yeah, it's really, really exciting. And how did you celebrate? So you say it was recorded, how did you celebrate when you got through? Um, oh, I got drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I went out with um, with my friends, yeah. um, up, like when it was, yeah, the actual day it was recorded, I went out. Okay. Um, but obviously we've seen it on telly, um, had to celebrate again really. Yeah. <laughs> That's an excuse. It's for double celebration. Exactly. <laughs> and you said you performed at Essex Fashion Week. How did that go? Yeah, I really enjoyed myself. It was um, yeah, great turnout. Um, just yeah, brilliant. I've never performed there before. I've never been. So um, yeah, it was really good. And is fashion important to you? Um, I mean, I do like fashion. Um, you know, I'm not one of these people that buy designer clothes. I haven't got the money for a start. But um, yeah, I, I think fashion is important as as a singer, as an artist, but I still think you can go to Primark, I love a bit of Primark, and you know, and, and go there and, and buy something that's quite cheap or a charity shop and get some vintage clothes and put something together and, and still look like a million dollars. So you have your own style? Yeah, yeah I, I, try and, I try and put something together that I like, I just like what I like, so yeah. And what can we expect from you in the live finals? Um, the live finals, well, I'm going to try my, my hardest to sort of do something that the public will relate to. Um, I want to try and do a bit of an up-tempo song. I mean, my first one was Stay With Me Baby, which is an amazing song, but was such a, a classic ballad. Um, obviously, my second song was Hero, which we, we got given uh, by Will for the battles, um, which was quite sort of an old, and it's ballad again. And then for my knockout song, I had to change it. I was going to do Hurt Christina Aguilera. Then it changed, because Will's advice, I sort of took that on board, and um, ended up singing Alone by Heart. Uh, which was a challenge again, and and it was another ballad. But I think I chose, I chose another ballad because I thought it's, I had to pick a knockout song, and I just thought I'm reminding them of why they turned around in the first place for me, and that's what I'm best at, you know, a a, a big sort of power ballad, and that's what I love doing. So I, I did I did a diff different ballad. Um, so I think with the live shows now, I want to sort of give give something different and maybe do something a bit more up tempo. And you have coaching, don't you, by Will I Am, and on, you have vocal coaches as yes, well. Yeah. So do you think that from your blind audition till now that you've learned a lot from? Um, yeah, coaches? those actually, because I haven't had you know proper vocal training. Um, you know, we're working with amazing vocal coaches. We're working. I'm working with Will I Am for God's sake. It's you know you're gonna learn, you're gonna grow, and it, and with the experience that that I'm taking part in. So, yeah, I've I've grown and, and learned a lot and. Yeah, I think my voice, I'm, I'm learning how to use my voice properly and better and use techniques that um, I've learned along the way. And I've been looking at your Twitter and I've seen that you've had, um, you've got massive support. Yeah, um, really you've nice. You've got a big fan base already. My Gro Tweety yeah. Pies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hashtag Tweety Pies and hashtag Team Jarvo. Team Jarvo, yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's really, really nice to have everyone's support. Um, I've just been overwhelmed by it, really. It's just, it's amazing. It's just crazy. 
Do you feel prepared for all the media attention that you're going to get? Um, I don't think anyone can really be prepared for it because how can you prepare for to be in the public eye? You have to just experience it and go with the flow. So I'm, I'm just I'm taking everything in my stride and, and trying to enjoy the journey. And since we last spoke, you've spent a lot more time with the other contestants. Yes. Yes. So do you get on with all the contestants? Is there any juicy gossip that you can give us? Um, no, I mean, they're all my friends now, and, and I know it's really cheesy, but we, we all do really get on. It's like a big family. We're all in the same boat. We're going through the same journey together. Obviously, everyone's different journeys, but it's the same experience. And, yeah, we have that connection, I think, and I just I really get on with a lot of them. Well, all of them, really. Um, so yeah, no, it's been it's been really fun. But there's no juicy gossip, really. Everyone's just there to you know try and make it, you know, as a singer. That's what everyone wants to do. We all want the same thing. Is there anyone who you're extremely close to, or you've become really good friends um, with? There's quite a few, to be honest. I mean, Ash, I'm really good friends with Alice, Jordan, John, Leah. Um, yeah, there's quite a few. Matt Henry as well. Um, yeah, there's quite a few that I've become really good friends with, even like Sarah as well. God, do you know what? It's it's so hard because you do become friends with them all. It's really weird. You can't choose. <laughs> you can't choose, yeah. I, I do genuinely get on with everyone. <laughs> Is there anyone who's got a person that they're really funny or someone? Jordan. Who... He's, Jordan. yeah, really funny. Obviously, um, he was in, in the knockouts and I was with him and Moni. Um, and I, yeah, really, really get on with Jordan. I love him to bits. And he's just so funny. He's brilliant. Love him. <laughs> okay, so now the live finals are coming up. And yes. if you win, what are you going to do with the money? Um, to be honest, I haven't thought about, like, the money side. Like, I know people go, going, yeah, right. But I, I actually haven't because it's, I've just been so overwhelmed. Every time I've got through, it's been like, what the hell is going on? Like... It's been amazing. I've wanted it for so long and now finally I have my platform. And yeah, I, I want to win and I'm like, come on, Leah, you can do this positive thinking and all that. But, you know, I, I don't know what I would do. Is there anything you I mean, treat it's, yourself to? I'd probably take my mum on holiday, to be honest. She hasn't been away for ages, so I'd probably, yeah, do something with my, with my mum. Are you really close to your family? Yeah, me and my mum like best mates. Aww. <laughs> and after The Voice, which um, direction do you want to go musically? Um, this is the thing, this is why I did the voice as well, to get direction as an artist. Um, you know, I know I've got quite a big voice, um, but I, I don't want to sort of be, you know, really like a poppy princess, you know, doing all the cheesy pop songs. And there's great pop songs out there, don't get me wrong, but I don't, I don't want to do things with no passion in, in the songs, you know. I like, I like things with a bit of soul, a bit of heart. And, um, yeah, I just want to make really good music, and if I can do that, then I think... It would just progress like that. So, do you primarily want to be a recording artist, or would you yes. be interested in any other like musical theatre or anything um, like that? Primarily, I, I want to be a recording artist. I want to be successful. I want to write my own albums and and perform and tour and all of that. Um, but I mean, the West End. I thought about that as well. I'd love to be in the West End. You know, there's there's so many different avenues you can go down. But my my ultimate dream is is huge, and <laughs> it's just, just climbing up the ladder and trying to get there. Really, so. Um, this is a great opportunity for me and, and hopefully it's going to be the start of a, of a good career, I'm hoping. <laughs> okay, I have some questions that have been tweeted to me by one of your fan pages, at team underscore Leanne 01. Yeah, that's team Java, I team think. Team Java, yeah. yes. Big and shout out, big yeah, love to them. big shout out. Make sure you add them on Twitter and follow them on Twitter. What age did you start to sing? Um, ooh, I think I was probably about, mm, about 11 or 12. And who's your idol? Michael Jackson. Of course. Yes. And the first CD you ever brought? Um, the first CD I brought, I think, I think it was might have been Britney Spears. Hit me, baby, one more time. And we love Britney. I know you're a big Britney fan, aren't you? Yeah, I think that's the first <laughs> CD I brought as well. Yeah. And you've been getting a lot of tweets from celebrities and your fans as well. Is yeah, no, I, it's, uh, the support's been amazing. It really has. It's just, it's really overwhelming. It's lovely really is nice have you had any strange tweets or any have you had any hate mail or anything like um, that um no i haven't had any hate mail i think um most of it's been really really supportive and lovely it's just i get emotional when i read it. i'm like oh it's just me like it's just so weird um but no really it's nice. it's really really nice really loving nice the time. support yeah no it's great you don't expect it you know you just you don't know what to expect and when when you do receive really lovely lovely things it's just yeah it's a great feeling Okay, now I've got some quick questions for you again. Okay, Are right. Not these quick <laughs> questions again. I'm not very good. Okay, if you were invisible for one what, for one day, what would you do? 
Oh, what would I do if I was invisible? Um, I think I'd like go and play pranks on people and pretend I was a ghost. <laughs> Scare people. That's, That's really answer. cruel. <laughs> or rob a bank, maybe. <laughs> Do you have any talents other than singing? Um, probably art. I was quite good at art at school. Yeah, I enjoyed drawing. Artistic I don't know. girl. Yeah, I don't know what I'm like anymore, to be honest. I haven't, haven't drawn for ages. And, I mean, I can write as well. Quite good at poetry. So that comes into songwriting. So you write your own music yes, as well? Yes, I like, I like to write, yeah. And do you play any musical instruments? Um, piano a little bit, but I mean it's basic. I wouldn't like to call myself a piano player. I just basic chords and I just hear what sounds good and yeah, do it like that. Okay, if you could be any fictional character, who would it be? Um, this is hard. Because I would say I'm thinking like Disney, like Cinderella, and but then, you know, it's not... Why would you want to be her when she's scrubbing floors all day, you know? <laughs> You'd want to be her at the end when she gets the prints. Of course. Um, fictional character. Even though it's a man, can I be Superman? I'd love to be a fly. Yeah, yeah. You can Superman. be a man. You can be any fictional character you like. I'd be a Superman. <laughs> if you could join a band, past or present, what, Jan what band would you join? Um, Spice Girls, definitely, 100%. And your favourite song? Favourite song, this, that's a hard one because there's so many good songs out there. Um, oh, it's really difficult. I probably would have to say another Michael Jackson one, you know, like Man in the Mirror or something like that. Yeah, he's, oh, his songs are incredible. Amazing. Sure. And if you were stuck on a desert island, what one object could you not live without? Oh, this is hard as well. I'm rubbish at these questions. Um, oh, God. I don't know. Maybe like my phone, and then I could call someone to come and rescue me. So then you might not have a charger. Then you might not ah, charge it. So if it's one thing, mm. maybe like a lighter or something, because then idea. I probably wouldn't be able to make fire with like the. I'd be. I'd just end up. Yeah, yeah dying. Have you ever tried doing that? It doesn't work. No, I've it? never tried it, and <laughs> I, I think I'd be really rubbish. So if I had a lighter, then you know I could keep warm. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> and your guilty pleasure? Oh, guilty pleasure. I love chocolate. Mm. Mm -hmm. Favourite fast food? Uh, Mackey D's, especially on a hangover. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. That's all, all I ever want on a hangover. I need what McDonald's. do you have at McDonald's? Uh, chicken nugget meal. <laughs> <laughs> large or medium? Um, large when I have a hangover, and then I have a cheeseburger on the side, and barbecue sauce. Very nice. Makes me fancy McDonald's now. And <laughs> Favourite fine dining food? Um, I'd say probably like steak or something like that. Oh, I, wow. I do love my food. How do you have your steak? I have my steak medium. Yeah, not too much. I don't like loads of blood in it. Mm. <laughs> but I like it tender. <laughs> so you're picky. <laughs> I'm quite picky, yeah. <laughs> Fussy. What advice would you give to someone who was newly entering the music industry or someone who wanted to um, enter the competition next year? Um, my advice would be uh, be yourself. Um, be yourself and, and I'd say, you know, really go for it. Don't be scared about it. Just, you know, you only live once and go for it and, and do the best you can do. Don't let your nerves get the better of you, you know. Try, try and control them as, as much you, as you can. Um, and, yeah, and stay true to yourself, really. And how would you sum up your experience in the competition so far? Oh, I would... Oh, how can I sum it up? It's just been the most amazing overwhelming crazy experience I've ever had in my life and, and I can't believe it's still carrying on you know it's just it's absolutely mental it's all like one big dream and, and it is really a, a dream come true and I'm just hoping it's going to be the start of something and um yeah it's just been amazing We've all got our fingers crossed for you and yes, we're all thank supporting you. you. Yeah, I need so, Essex and everyone behind yeah, me. Yeah, both Team Java. <laughs> yes. And add, what's your Twitter? Twitter um, my Twitter is at Leanne Jarv, so L-E-A-N-N-E-J-A-R-V, and Tweety Pies, hashtag Tweety Pies, and hashtag Team Java. Well, we will all be rooting for you. Good luck in the thank live Thank you so finals. much. Oh, thank you. Me, I hope the next time I interview you, it's as the winner. Oh, that'd be amazing. Well, well, <laughs> Fingers thank you crossed. Thank so much again. And thank you. Yeah, make sure you pick your phones up and vote for Leanne Jarvis. I've been Kai Kingswood Hughes, and thank you for watching.